This VS Code keyboard shortcut is called Shrink or Expand Selection. And in this short video, we're going to take a look at how it works. Here I have some basic React code and a click handler. Now this is a text selection shortcut. So let's go ahead and select short span of text anywhere in the code. Now press and hold Shift Alt. And as you continue holding them, start using left and right keys. By doing this, you can continue expanding or shrinking your current selection around scope and text quotes. If you keep pressing the right key, it's going to continue going outside of the scope and align perfectly with the parent scope of your current selection. And you can just go like that all the way up. So here, starting from that small selection, I can just delete the entire content of the app component. Now, let me just go back to the previous state. One more thing about the shortcut is it matters which selection you start with. So if I start with number and use the arrow keys, you'll see that I can only return to that selection that I started with, no matter how many times I hit the left arrow key again. But let's say I select something much smaller, like just a single character, and then I start using the arrow keys again. I'll always return to that original selection. Now, the cool thing about this VS Code keyboard shortcut is that it will stop at key points like scope, function scope, CSS selectors, opening and closing HTML tags, and it basically just helps you to intuitively do what you would have done using the mouse, spending a lot more time. Now, using this VS Code keyboard shortcut, you can move your current text selection up or down anywhere in your code. So here I have my basic React app. And let's say I selected this line over here. And by pressing the Alt key and using the up and down arrows, I can move selected text up or down anywhere in my code. You don't have to select the whole line just to make this work. You can select just one character from the entire line or one word, and it's still going to work. So here I can even select this whole line by just a single character and still it's going to move that line up and down. Now this will also work with multiple line selection. So if you select this whole function and you can just as well move it up and down anywhere in your file. So this VS Code keyboard shortcut is called copy selection up or down, and you can use it on single or multiple lines. We'll take a look at that. So here I have some React code. And if I select a line and press shift alt and start using the up or down arrows, I will copy that selection. Now you can do this in both directions, regardless where your selection is. So here I copy it up or down from where my current selection is. And I guess one of the use cases for something like this would be making a table with multiple rows. So let's say I have a row here with a couple of columns, let's say A and B. And if I select this and shift alt and arrow down, I can multiply rows really fast. Now this works for a single line of selected text, but it will also work with multiple line selections. So here, for example, I'm going to select the entire function and do shift alt arrow down. And as you can see, we're copying the entire function. This VS Code keyboard shortcut will help you find matching brackets in a scope, like a function or class or any of those things. This works when sometimes it's hard to tell what function or block scope a closing bracket belongs to. And this is true, especially when your code is long or has some complex API or generally long functions with multiple for loops, callbacks and other scopes. Now you can easily jump between closing and opening brackets of the same scope with this useful VS Code keyboard shortcut. So first position your mouse at the opening bracket, then press control shift backslash and your cursor will basically start jumping between the bracket you have your cursor on right now and the opening or closing bracket. So this can obviously be done with any scope so here it's the function and pretty much there isn't much else to say about this Visual Studio Code keyboard shortcut. Now this VS Code keyboard shortcut is going to help you to indent your code. We'll also take a look at how to change the number of characters or tabs used for indentation in VS Code. 
using the code indentation keyboard shortcut is pretty simple in Visual Studio Code. Hold down the control key and by pressing the right bracket, you will indent out and by pressing the left bracket, you will indent back in. Now you can change the number of spaces you will indent by, by clicking on this button right here. As soon as you do that, this drop down will appear and all you have to do is click indent using spaces and then select the number of spaces. But you can also choose to use tabs. I'm going to hit control and the brackets again. And as you can see, it's jumping by four spaces this time. So this works on a single line as well as on multiple lines. And sometimes you can indent in all the way to the left side and you'll end up with something like this. So what you want to do is hit control K on your selection, which is the first key of chord, and then hit control F to format your selection. And that will simply bring back your formatting to normal indentation. Now you can also use shift tab to achieve exactly the same indentation controls. So here's shift tab and tab without the shift, which in my opinion is actually a lot easier to use. This VS Code keyboard shortcut will help you to comment your code and you can use single line comments and multiple line comments as well. They are two different shortcuts. Now here I have my project and let's say I want to wrap this click handler function with single line comments. So hit control forward slash. And as you can see on each single line, we have this single line comment that was added. Now, if you want to do the multi-line comment on your selection, select your text and hit shift alt a keyboard shortcut. And, and this will wrap your text selection with a multi-line comment. Now VS Code will automatically select the type of comment it will use for HTML, Python, JavaScript, and all those different languages use different comment symbols. So you don't have to worry about that. VS Code will automatically do that for you. Now, this is a very brief VS Code keyboard shortcut tutorial, but still I just wanted to document it together with the other Visual Studio Code keyboard shortcuts. So basically this is when you need to enable or disable word wrap in VS code. So let's say you have some really long lines of code that don't fit into the view. What you can do is hit alt Z and by doing this, basically you will limit the length of each line to the width of your VS code editor. So guys, this is probably one of the best VS code keyboard shortcuts. It allows you to add multiple cursors and edit your code in multiple places at the same time. So here I have an example of a table and what I'm going to do is hold down the Alt key and start clicking next to the values inside the column here all the way down. This will add multiple cursors to each line and you can start editing on multiple rows at the same time. Now, the cool thing about this keyboard shortcut is that all of the regular typing and selecting rules apply with multiple cursors. So you can select, retype values, uh, reselect them again, and do anything you would normally do with a regular selection, except in multiple places at the same time. So here I'm holding the shift key and using the left and right arrows to extend the selection. Now you can place multiple cursors anywhere in the text. It doesn't have to be in the same column. So here I'm adding a bunch of multiple cursors to completely different values on this table. So here I can select them and type into them at the same time in different places. And then here I'm going to press shift and left arrow key. And so this next VS code keyboard shortcut is called replace all occurrences. And it's kind of an extension to multiple cursors because it will actually automatically create multiple cursors around text that matches your current selection. So here I have my basic table with a bunch of rows saying replace me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first replace me and press control shift L. Now this will select all occurrences of currently selected text and automatically insert multiple cursors. So I can start typing to replace all of those values at the same time. Now this VS code keyboard shortcut, which is go to line number is pretty simple, but it's used quite a lot when developing. 
especially when working with large code bases. So the way it works is here I have my table on line 13 and let's say you want the cursor to jump to that line. Go ahead and press control G and this thing pops up. So just enter the line number into it and hit enter and your editor will bring your cursor focus to that line. This is useful when you have things like console errors telling you which line is generating an error and you want to quickly jump to that line to see what's going on.